Shalom YouTube. Hey guys, it's Fletch. Welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at the Echo CS590 as in um, Charlie Sierra 590, otherwise known as the Timber Wolf. And so stick around. We'll be right back. Hey guys, thanks for uh, coming back. And today, like I said, we're looking at the um, Echo CS590. You can see right here. Here's our our placard, and you can see that yes, it is in fact uh, a product that is made in Japan. Um, however, uh, it does appear to be a very high quality product. Uh, but frankly, <laughs> what's actually made uh, here in America? Unfortunately, you know the United States uh, of America, America. But um, and even the stuff or the things that are claimed to be in America, um, you should really read the law on that sometimes because uh, most of the time the things that are actually quote unquote made in America, all of the components are made in China and then they're sent back to America and then they're assembled with one or two parts that were actually made in America. Thereby, it meets the standard and so it's quote unquote. Made in America. So, all right, anyway, so I got off my soapbox now. So, this is in the 60cc field of chainsaws, and um, I think the competition for this most notably would be, oh, I think the Farm Boss from um, Husqvarna, and um, oh, I can't think of what the other one is, but uh, you know, Steel. The, oh no, the steel is a farm boss, and then the Husqvarna. I can't remember what it's called right now, but it's in that same, you know, 60 cc family of chainsaws. And uh, so far, I've been very, very impressed with this chainsaw. Like I said, this is not a full review. This is just the first look. And uh, before I go on, I also wanted to mention to you that this is a really nice toolbox. Um, it, this is basically the same toolbox that you can get from. It's either steel or Husqvarna or Husqvarna, depending on how you say it, where you live. But uh, anyways, um, you, you got a place here for your file, a uh, spark plug, your scrunch. Uh, there's a place for your oil, a place for extra chain in here. And um, you know, that goes on there. And then the, you stick your, the blade sticks out, <coughs> excuse me, through right there. And so that's what it looks like with the, uh, when it's in there but anyways uh, if you're looking for something like this and the reason why I'm sharing it with you is because I'm pretty sure that the Echo brand if you get this is basically the exact same thing so uh, just a, a free tip for watching today okay so here is the saw inside the Echo branded box like I said earlier it's basically the same thing from what I've seen anyways of both the, the steel and the Husqvarna but uh, as you can see, you know, it's just a, a simple um, compression latch. It opens up, drops down, and there is the saw. And then also back in here is a spot for uh, uh, one pint of bar oil and then a small thing of two cycle premix that you could put there as well. And so there it is in the case. And these also come in, I think, an 18 and a 20 inch blade. I happen to have the 20 on mine. And um, also one thing, now that I'm looking at it, is that the chain tensioner is right here, so it's very easy to access. And uh, I, I really like that feature that's on this saw because it's very easy to, to tighten the chain on this. You just loosen these two blades a little, or <laughs> blades, <laughs> bolts a little bit, and then, you know, um, righty tighty lefty loosey basically uh, keep it simple stupid right <laughs> back to the CS590 uh, this is a very uh, powerful chainsaw like I said it, it's a 60 cc and um, this is um, it, probably one of the most competitive um, segments of the chainsaw market right now that's why um, I'd say you know your three major competitors right now uh, Echo um, Husqvarna and Steel, or Steel, uh, all have some marketing moniker like you know, Steel or Steel is the farm boss, and you know Echo is the Timber Wolf, 
and you know so they all got their own little spin on that you know their their marketing name uh, in this segment in the 60 cc so uh, a couple things um, it doesn't have a, a typical you know um, plunger bulb on here to prime it so basically what you do to start it is you push in the choke and then you press the the decompression button right there you just heard it click and then you pull it two or three times until it wants to start and then you you pull out the choke and then you press the decompression again to, to keep the pressure off or if you're a he-man you know don't worry about it <laughs> but for the rest of us uh, yeah just use the decompression button and uh, it, it usually starts on the first or second pull after that and you know so uh, so far I've been very very happy with it and uh, as you can see you know I live in a very forested area with lots of hardwoods and oaks and um, felled you know some rather large trees with this saw I've been very happy with it thus far like I said this is more of just a, a first look than an actual um, product review because I just haven't had it long enough and I don't have enough hours with it yet to say yay or nay but thus far I've been very impressed with it um, it's a cutting beast uh, I know that uh, when I first got it I showed up and everyone else had their stills and Husqvarna's and uh, they were kind of snickering at me you know for buying an Echo but uh, uh, the snickering went away <laughs> when they saw you know uh, how well it cuts and you know it, it is indeed you know or certainly appears to be a quality piece of equipment and um, you know just your basic th things in here you know you got your safety sally button here you know if you don't press that then you can't press the your uh, excel your um, accelerator trigger um, over here is you know your your fuel add right here there's our bar oil right here <laughs> and you know your basic uh, brake right here so all the things you expect uh, one thing that, that this echo has on it that a lot of your newer saws are starting to have on it too is it has the electronic ignition in it so if you get a really bad kickback or something like that um, it does have some safety precautions that are built into it and it does also uh, reportedly help it to run smoother um, all the time and that's been my experience so far but you know like I said I, I've not had it for long enough yet to say yes you know I definitely agree with that or or know that I don't but thus far uh, like I said I've been very happy with it and uh, it cuts very well and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this uh, first look at the Echo CS590 if you have any questions feel free to post them below I'll do my best to answer it uh, however, I'm not a chainsaw aficionado. Uh, I'm just uh, an end user. And so far, uh, I've been very happy with my investment in the Echo CS590. Hopefully, this video has been a blessing to someone out there. Hope you have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you soon. Shalom.